Want to see my top five beater blades? Stick around because I'm about to show you right now. Hey guys, I'm Jay and if you are a user or collector of pocket knives like I am, click subscribe and I'll help find the right knife for you. Now I realize that everyone has their own definition of a beater blade. For the sake of this video, my definition of a beater knife would be anything that's $50 or less, but it still has to look good, function good, and have acceptable blade steel. So let's get started with number, well, number five. And that is gonna be the Kershaw Injection, model number 3830. Three and a half inch blade, HCR 13 MOV blade steel, about 4.4 ounces in weight. And because of these oversized thumb studs, that really does help to give it some pretty decent action. One thing that I really like about this knife is how it looks with that straight line all the way from the tip of the blade to the pummel on the handle. And I would have to say my least favorite characteristic of this knife would be the blade finish and that bead blast. Just because this is going to start to show wear and tear and scratches and yeah, it's not going to conceal that stuff very well. So Kershaw Injection, the three and a half inch bladed version is my number five favorite beater knife. Number four favorite beater blade is going to be the CRKT Torea. You're looking at, this is about a three and a half inch long blade, 7CR17 MOV blade steel. Uh, it is a little on the heavy side at 5.09 ounces, but it does have some really nice brown micarta scales with stainless steel bolsters. Now, the action is just fantastic because of the IKBS bearing system. Now, the Terea does come with a nylon belt sheath, but I have actually repurposed it for something else and I don't remember what. My favorite characteristic of the Terea has to be the action, watch this, requires absolutely no wrist. Look at that. And I am terrible when it comes to deploying blades. No movement needed. My least favorite characteristic, well, is going to be the fact that it does come in a nylon sheath. So it it's shipped without a pocket clip. I had actually modified this so for it to uh, to fit this deep carry clip on there. Number four favorite beater knife, the CRKT Torea. Number three favorite beater blade is going to be the CRKT Hijinx. This is a Ken Onion design. Uh, you're looking at about a three and a quarter inch blade with 1.4116 blade steel. Now, this is a little heavy at 4.8 ounces considering the blade is only 3.25 inches. The scales are glass filled nylon and this does have the IKBS uh, bearing system and an inset liner lock which I actually really really like in my folders just because when it's inset that means it's going to have a much thinner profile in the handle. Uh, there is a deep carry pocket clip does come standard with this and it is reversible for righties and lefties. And if you look at this, I thought that this was really neat. Yeah, that's like a little tab that just pops off to cover up that cutout. So on the non clip side, you don't just have like another indentation or groove just you know collecting crud 
My favorite characteristic of the hijinks has to be this blade shape. Modified uh, sheep's foot blade. I guess you could also consider that a drop, a drop point, but I'm gonna call it a modified sheep's foot. And I just love how the wide profile of it. My least favorite characteristic of this is gonna have to be the blade finish. The, the, the satin finish, I really wish that this was stonewash just because, you know, it, th this is, to me, a user, a beater. So the satin finish is really not going to hide the scratches and also the smudges and dirt and stuff is just going to show up really, really quick on this. So that is my number three favorite beater knife, the CRKT hijinks. Number two is going to be the San Renmu SRM 9098, 3.23 inch blade, and it does feature the Sandvik 12C27 blade steel. Now, this is a little bit heavy at about 4.8 ounces with G10 scales, but you'll see why in just a second. The action is absolutely fantastic. And that is going to be because of the ball bearing pivot inside. This does feature multiple deployment options. So you can also, of course, use the flipper or the thumb studs, which I always, always appreciate. Another nice feature is the deep carry pocket clip is included so there's no need to get an aftermarket one unfortunately it is just the one position what i really really like about this knife is well it's got to be the tools yes it features a tool with a gut hook and what is that a phillips head and what's the other one i know oh yeah the can opener and also can be doubled as a flathead screwdriver. Oh, and also what else else is good about the gut hook? Fantastic for opening clam packs. Yeah, if you just poke the clam pack like with the with the knife, just to make a little like slit in it, and then you put in the gut hook, and yes, very nice. So you don't damage what's actually inside that clam pack. My least favorite characteristic has got to be the thumb studs. Not the fact that they're there, but that the access to them is kind of difficult because of the thickness of the G10 scales. I mean, I, I can get it and deploy it with thumb studs, obviously. But I have to stop and think about it for a second. And I would have to say my favorite characteristic is, well, it's going to be, yeah, the tools. Because just great, great to have in a pinch. So that is my number two favorite beater blade, the San Renmu SRM 9098. Now, before we get into my all-time favorite beater blade i just want to quickly remind you guys to click on that subscribe button now i do have a few honorable mentions that did not quite make the top five but i i just felt like that they are knives that i should show you because they almost made the list very very close and the first honorable mention is going to be the kershaw strobe Love this thing. Very, very strong detent, manual action, but it feels like it's assisted because of that super strong detent. And of course, the Ganzo FB760. I mean, what's not to like about this? Ball bearing pivot, 440C blade steel, deep carry pocket clip. It really is just a fantastic, Fantastic knife. It just came up a little bit short for my list. And number three honorable mention is going to be the Buck Selkirk. Now this is the small 
folder because it does come in a much larger size and there is a fixed blade version of the Selkirk as well. What actually made this knife just missed my top five list has to be the detent is very, very weak. Very easy to shake this guy open. So those are my honorable mentions. I do have reviews for every knife that I have shown you here today. And if you click up in this area, I will leave a link to each and every one of these knife reviews so you can see why I chose these for my top five list. All right, are you guys ready for this? My number one favorite beater blade of all time has to be the Best Tech Lion. Yes, sir. 3.375 inch blade. You are looking at D2 tool steel. Fantastic. Uh, 4.4 ounces in weight, but that is because I made a few modifications. I removed the stainless steel backspacer, which did help to lighten this up just a little bit. Now, I do have a video for the modifications that I made to this knife. And again, if you look towards this upper right hand corner you can click on the link to watch that modification the action on the best tech lion is just incredible and that is going to be because of two things the ball bearing pivot and it has a ridiculously strong detent very very strong detent that best tech just has dialed in absolutely perfect my favorite characteristic of this knife has to be well the blade shape just a gorgeous drop point and the d2 blade steel my least favorite characteristic is gonna be the handle thickness now it is at about 0 0.56 inches thick no it's not terrible i mean it's not like griptilian handle thickness but it's it's just a little bit thicker than i like so yes the best tech lion number one favorite beater blade Thanks guys so much for watching. I'll see you at the next video. You guys take care. And I would love to hear from you guys. What is your favorite all time top beater blade? Let me know in the comment section below guys.